Welcome to your father's house. This is your father's house. Do you believe that? Yes, Praise God. Welcome to the father's house. Welcome to your father. He has come to bless us tonight. We came for his appointment. We have got his appointment tonight in this evening. We thank God for what he did yesterday. But he's still doing more. And he's been working ever since. Ever since last night, until this hour, God is working in incredible ways. Amen. The, the young lady who was delivered yesterday, remember her? Muto. We know her, no? Before she shares her testimony, is there anyone else with a testimony here? I see some. God bless you. Just bear with us. I will not give you time today. I want to let Mutoni because you want to continue because there are many things God wants to do for us Tony I think you saw what God did for you last night I would like you to introduce yourself to the people and let them know the mission that brought you here and for what God has done for you. Just share your story briefly. Bless God. Praise the Lord, servants of God. I'm going to share my story, but do not fear me because I'm a new creation now. Now I'm not afraid. I have great joy. I was not a person before. I was an agent of Satan but by all means I came here not for the purpose of praying I had a mission three things to do on my mission our protocol our and the young ladies, the ladies who pray every Monday, mama. and the ladies who are married, the single ladies who fellowship on Monday, and the married ladies. Hallelujah. Amen. But for me, I had a double mind. one time, I was saying either they will kill me. Or I will get saved. Because every time Apostle stood here, he spoke about me. Yesterday he said, I'm going to show you where a witch is. I was seated right there and I began feeling slapped. And they were telling me to get out. Then I 
the purpose of telling me to go out was so that I go and have an accident. Because Satan and his agents who were seeing my mind was getting confused because of the prayer going on here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank God for all that he has done for me. And I pray that God forgives me and the apostle forgives me. You may ask me why, did I, why do I apologize? Did you hear the rumors that Apostle goes to hell? That is the ugly garment that they had clothed him with. That uh, rumor was spread by two young men. And it's me who gave them the idea. They were there are two pastors that were becoming hard for us. Pastor Kayanja na Pastor Apostle. Pastor Kayanja of Uganda and Apostle Yitkwaz of here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Njel gose, na go narin zibdamba yeho. I didn't know what was going on with me. The last thing I remember was I was being slapped. I was being slapped and then I found myself here on the stage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will never be discouraged from serving the Lord. The reason why I signed up to serve the devil was because of the carelessness of my parents. They neglected me. I never experienced a mother's love or my father's love. I started, I started being abused at the age of nine until I was 14 today. Bazimana I say, Muje, Muje, Data, Nyanze, Namama, Kanyanga. Now, now, Imani, Nyange, Nasatan, Naguja, Wachirabawe. And so I, I said, God, if my father hated me, rejected me, my mother rejected me, and you have rejected me, Satan welcomes all people. And that's how I started serving Satan secretly. I would be abused and I would Faint. I would do domestic work and get tired. But in the night I would go to hell. Yes, Hashim. Praise God. Do you know how hell looks like? Do you know how painful it is to serve the devil when you are still young? Do you know how deep the pain I have in my heart? I think everyone is going to hate me because of my testimony. The devil and his agents reached a point where they would send me to bring the young ladies in Pastor Kayanja's church in Uganda. I took two young ladies from Pastor Kayanja's church using money. I deceived them using money. And that's how I was going to deal with the ushers here. But ask me what happened to me on the first day. I came here. I believed I could get saved. But I also knew I could never abandon the family of Satan because they are the ones who accepted me. It went to a higher degree. And I fled Rwanda and went to Uganda. I had no ID papers. Just I just thought I had beauty that no one on his heart. Satan had covered me with another face. 
I know I'm on air. I know many people are watching and listening. I went to Uganda. I don't know how the arrangements were made, but I was received by Indians. Indians are the ones who made me a master witch. My mission was to destroy young Rwandan ladies. Young children of three years old, young girls of three years old. They were my target, and that was my joy. That time, target in Nari in the home Fugati, Ichongore, Nuko Datafa, Mama Gafa, Step Mama Gafa, Kukoniwa, Numusmanang. The target, the target I had was to destroy my father, my mother, and my grandfather because they were my my step my stepmother. Now I regret why. I regret why I said, why doesn't the devil receive people? Praise God. Can you imagine taking your stepbrother to hell? I took my stepbrother simply because simply because my mother had that child, that son with another man whom I don't like. I said, do not fear me. I asked you, church, to be closer to me. I know we come here to pray. I'm not afraid to say that. We come here for di in different ways. Did anyone suspect me to be doing what I was doing when you saw me dancing in prison? Never forget that Satan could be next to you. And praying is not making noise. When you pray, remember to pray for your family. And parents who are here. If you know you have a child, get closer to your children. Make sure your child will never come and ask you what you see. Always tell your children they belong to the Lord, not to Satan. Parents, when you get closer to your children and make them friends, that's how they feel your parental love. Imagine every day your dad neglects you. Satan will never come and announce to you, I'm going to take your child. Just like I destroyed many, I'm going to restore many. Just like for the last 16 years I've been on earth, just multiply yourselves by four times. Perhaps that's the number of the people I've destroyed. Yes, Praise God. Who am I that the Lord would save me? Who am I who destroyed so much that God could forgive me? I feel rest in my heart. Every time I destroy the kingdom of Satan, I feel again more. When the pastor prayed for me yesterday, they were telling me, have you accepted to destroy our family? Satan is saying to her. I was about to be ordained as a queen in Satan's kingdom. Never mistake you, never make a mistake about anybody you see. 
Satan was telling men his agents, Queen, are you disappointing our family? Please come out and go with us. It started, through, it started through a pastor who was talking to me. One of whom they prayed for yesterday here. But as they kept praying, they moved and went to another lady. And then they had no place. They kept running around until they ran out and they said, We are going, but you are going to always be restless. But I said, I will be restful in Jesus. Maybe you are here as a spy. Maybe you came here to destroy me. If you are here as a witch or a certain agent, this is your time to be saved. I had that plan until I joined the young ladies. I had the target of four young ladies. Some of them I think are aware because I told them. However, of all those ladies God is telling me they are the ones who are going to me out. they are my big sisters in this church now imagine how we destroy our future I'm 16 years old and I begin to serve that little man in hell how would i not serve the man in heaven hallelujah hallelujah if i was to share all my story you would take movies most of you know me as a stubborn girl but i'm not that old and a stubborn girl because no one can question me how would you bring drugs in Rwanda some of you parents you hear your children telling you I just came from smoking something but you don't know what it is I want to thank someone called David who brought me to this church because he was the beginning that God showed me. This is how wicked Satan is. I had tried to use some medicine to kill me, and then I said, I'll go and kill one police officer. But then get arrested. When I asked David, where is the police? He said, where is the police? The police was there, but I didn't know. He said, I don't know, but I know that the police used to be somewhere close here. Praise God. David, as soon as David made a step, he said, God says, I don't want to live here. He kept telling me many things until I shared my life with him. But even to this day, David, David where I stand now to confess what I have done he's the one who helped me because he kept encouraging me never but he didn't know who I was nobody knew who I was I had a spirit of disguising when I went to the Muslims I would pray like them and I would even pray more than Muslims I could see it and read your mind and tell you your problem and then you think it is God who is protecting you you would think God has revealed Hallelujah. what is going on in your life everybody who claims they have had a vision about you is not from God for Every time you receive a prophecy, test that prophecy and know who that person is who is prophesying to you. Praise the Lord. 
I pray that God will forgive me for every pastor I misled. My other target was this man. They were two. I don't want to pretend I asked the apostle, tell me who are you, what are you? He said, I'm a servant of God. He's not just a servant of God. Hallelujah. If he was just a mere servant of God, could he not have been misled by any other person? There is another one standing in him. When I see him, I don't see him as an ordinary man. Just like if Satan himself is here. He knows the seat where he's sitting is not his right foot. People who are depressed and are very quiet start to pray. That is how I started. I would refuse to eat and when I started eating, I would sit as if I'm sitting on a pit. Even every neighbor with food, I'd feel like I want to go and steal their food. And someone would say, this young girl has stolen our food. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know if I said everything, we would not have time for the apostle to share the word. But what is on my heart is, one, is what I want to ask this church. I need a new family. I need new friends. I need somebody to hold me when I fall. Hallelujah. 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 Mbonye mama. I've just got a mother. Praise the Lord. You don't just need your biological mother or father. Because many of us, we have many biological parents, but we become useless to us. Now let me tell you something funny. I was in a bathroom. Look at how Satan is very He has no mind. How can you be delivered? Somebody prays for you, you get delivered, then he comes back to you. He's so full. He is out of his mind. I was taking a shower. And he came and said, Queen. I kept quiet. I thought it was somebody outside talking to me. He said, Queen. The devil is talking to me. And I said, What's this? My fiance was called Kalisa. I said, Kalisa, what do you want? From hell. That was my that was the voice from hell. Do not think I have the real fiance. That was from hell talking to me. Eh. Yes, Ashim. Praise God. And he said, have you counseled everything? And he said, yes, we were under fire when they were praying, but are you abandoning us? I said to them, listen, number one, you are powerless, you mislead, 
And he said, no. Don't you remember how I used to love you? And I said, Do you know the new fiance I have? He's the Lord. And then he laughed. <laughs> and he said, Queen, do you think you can just leave me like that? You are going to suffer. You sleep outside. And he said, I think you've already seen some signs. Yes, Praise God. Now, okay. Now, say, tomorrow morning, I'll take my Bible and begin to preach on the street. Just like I destroyed many. Just like I brought many to hell. None of them is still with you. They have come back. You live with someone. You think you still have them. But they left you. You just have a housing so to speak. And the spirit they fabricate when the person is born in hell. By the way, hell is terrible. No one should desire to go there. Serve for heaven because heaven is for, for us. Then I said, God. I was sitting in the bathroom and I said, God, would you let me suffer? Would you let me go naked without clothes? Would you let me be despised? I took a deep, mom a deep moment to mm -hmm. think and I was crying. When I'm crying, many times I sing. There is power in the name of Jesus. I was singing that there is power in the name of Jesus. I love that song. Even before I got saved, whenever I heard that song, I jumped. When God opened, something, even if you go to hell, you come out and go to that thing exactly. God said to me, You will never lack clothes. Now that you have believed me from the first day, and believe that I'm God even when you are fearful, but now you're confident. I cannot bring you out of hell and leave you without a testimony to share with people. When you leave hell, they will take out your memory so that you don't tell all their secrets. But I still remember everything. I know how you can go to hell and how you come out. You go down as if you're walking down by steps. Yes, Hashim. Praise God. Young men who are here. And you men who look around always. Be careful. Because Jesus says, get married to one person. And you meet a lady and you begin to flatter them, but you claim you are a believer. I'm telling you this because I've been seeing it. Hallelujah. Yes, Ashim. You should not play games with the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is not something to play with. It is very hard to see the Lord. God showed his back pass to Moses, but people saw the glory. <laughs> Don't you realize how you're going to lose someone very important? Praise God. 
And I want to thank you all. Because all your prayers, but especially the prayer from here. There were prayers in that area there. Because wherever they try to go, hell was under fire because of the prayers yesterday. Never give a breath to Satan. Never give him rest. Every time you see Satan, I see it with the blood. When he comes, after that word, he will say, I have no seat in this place. Hallelujah. Satan has no seat in me. Satan has no seat in me. And I know many of you are not saved yet. Some are here to gather information. Fake news that apostle goes to hell does not come from other people. It comes from people who pray. Apostle, there is another fake story that ladies love this place. Do you know why ladies love this church? It's because we know where God is. Many men. Many men don't know who God is and that's why they are not here yet. But I'm telling you where we are standing. Many ladies are going to see it. You will hear a voice telling you go to a club. I know the youth love going to clubs. The demons operate most in nightclubs. Whenever you pass by a bar, pray for God to close it. Because Satan has a throne in every bar and nightclub. I am a new person now. Just like the Lord said, I am with you and you have a new family. You are my new family. And I want to thank this lady. I love her very much. I love the way she preaches. And Bavandim, brethren. Hallelujah. I want to get saved publicly. I want you to lead me in a prayer of confession once again. Yes, Ashimacha. Praise the Lord. Do not play with this. This is serious. Yesterday I told you we would lay down garments of rumors that have been clothed on us. Because sorcerers and witches, they are the ones who spread rumors to defile, to defile people's reputation. And the rumors get accepted as a true story. They do that 
They will go through people. But it will be from the plots made from hell. I don't know this young girl. Uh, I think I saw her for okay. the first time. God started touching and performing miracles that made her begin to question Satan. Until today, when someone says such a story publicly, she will have started a new war. Another thing, she needs help to close all doors. Because right now, as I stand with her, she can still hear the voice of Satan. Because there are doors that we haven't closed. But we are going to close those doors. It takes time of counseling and talking to her and gradually closing some doors, all the doors. Yesterday there was a great battle here. Uh, I don't know if we are all able to bear with some of these things. But I want you to know Satan has no power. Do you agree to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior for your soul? Repeat. Yes, I accept. I accept with all my heart. Do you accept to cancel all agreements you made with Satan? Yes, I accept. She was baptized in the blood of a human. She drank blood. That's the first thing Satan does for everyone initiated into sorcery and witchcraft. The, the thing they do, Satan will, will, will take, give that person a bath in the blood. They baptize them in the blood of people. And then they will take your human blood to drink. That's how sorcerers and witchcraft is initiated in a person. And so very quickly, we must baptize her. Her baptism by immersion is an act of deliverance from the blood, the human blood that she was baptized into. Do you agree to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Yes, I accept. Do not think this is easy. She's fighting right now. Because she was a queen in hell. She had escorts who protected her. 
Uremeye uyu munsi. Do you agree today? Kuba umugeni wa Kristo. To become the bride of Christ. Yes, I agree. Ureme uyu munsi kwinjira mu muryango mushya ari ryo torero rya Kristo no mugakiza. Do you agree to join the new family of Christ which is Christ which is the church in salvation? Yes, I accept. May the blood of Jesus cover you. May the blood of Jesus cover you. May the blood of Jesus cover you. Amen. Amen. Do not worry, they cannot take your heart. I want you to confess again. Say, Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and my Savior of my life. Of my soul. Take away all powers of darkness from me. Power of the enemy. Clothe me with the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep me in the blood of Jesus. Put a seal on me that I am the bride of Christ. Bring your fingers. I take away the ring of the covenant. I give you a ring of a covenant with Jesus. Mm-hmm. Can you feel the ring? There is a ring. Can you feel the ring? Yeah, The old ring is gone. Okay. Okay. Fear not, your heart is safe. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Jesus. All glory is for you. All glory is yours. All majesty. You are mighty. You perform wonders. You are God of miracles. You are God of promises. You are God who speaks and it is established. You are God who works and it is done. Mighty are you. Great are you. Mighty are you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Wagiri kanzu, wagiri rukweto, wagiri kimwa mufasha muka mwenyenda na mwenyenda fite. Every clothes you can get, shoes or clothes or dresses, please help her, she has no clothes. Uyungu imani za mukoresha kuzanurubzi kwa gwinshi. God is going to use her 
to bring many youth to Christ. Our God is good. Muto. Do you have a plan to bring the youth to Christ? Eh? No one go happy was. Even right now, most of them. Amen. This is why Jesus came to redeem such people, all of us. You could be here also tonight. Yes, Jesus loves you. And Jesus needs you. Nabonye warabatijwe mu maraso nibyo koko gwabatijwe mu maraso barakubatije baguha maraso ni wo mugenzo wa mbere babanza gukora I saw you getting baptized in the in the human blood is that so she says yes that the first act they do for you to be initiated Do you know it is human blood Eh kuko babica urewa Yes because they kill the person in your eyes Warangiza ukanwa na maraso and then you drink that person's blood yes You are delivered. Pastor Zawadi, is your mugito no za mujane kumubatiza sibzo? Pastor Zawadi, is your zawada taja Tomorrow, he will baptize you. Where you are, how we miss you, kunsibzo? Your mission ah, was. Ah, na garinte we yati yeshu wa yeshu wa how. Ah, hey Dibza, yaku fuye mu. Yaku fuye mu mungu ndo musa. Inibza mama, nibz, nibzo, eh? Tangu la tanda kadi e. Oh yeah. <laughs> no one say na kura kadi ribinyoma. Zari binyoma na ura kazgani binyoma. Kandi si narja e tu sonja subira. <laughs> Your reputation is going to be restored. Na kivazo, na kivazo. Bavandimwe, uyu mugoroba. Tonight, brethren. Iman daza kuba kura ho. Igi suzuguriro, umgambaro igu suzuguriro. Satan yaba ambitse. Tonight, God is going to take away the garment of disgrace that Satan clothed you with. I promised you yesterday that today every negative reputation that witches have clothed us with are going to be taken away including with me and uh, she just said that today Amen Amen. We praise God. For God fights for us. And God keeps us every day, protects us every day. Never be I told you that the power of Satan in scorpions, which are demons, is in water. Where did you yes. pass when you were going to witchcraft? Hey, hey. Through water. Lake Victoria. 
I went through Lake Victoria in Uganda. What, how, how was it? I went with someone at 2 a.m. He just threw two eggs in the lake. And then steps came up. Very long steps. But when you're going down on the steps, you go fast. It was at night that I had accepted to do that in my father's house. So that's how we they, they are dark. You cannot face the devil for a lot of minutes without you getting transformed. They have the way they train you. You, you gaze at their face, face without blinking. Yes, Praise God. I reached yes. the point where I would look at somebody in their face and they would be ashamed and then they move away. Thank you. Satani, Satan when someone is getting initiated into satanism there are three things they will take from that person they will take their eyes and they will give their own eyes their tongue and they will give you their tongue and your brain they will give you their own brain most of the people who are in bondage in prostitution, Satan will put a mask on their forehead. In such a way, you have a capacity. Those who are in prostitution, they are given fake faces so that every man or lady who sees that person, they will get attracted by, to that person and they will think this is their favorite person they have been looking for. That's how their lives are ruined. We are going to pray. Tonight, tonight, we will take off every garment of a bad reputation that the devil has put on us. Are you hearing me? They will give you a garment so that when somebody, so that when somebody looks at you, they will see lust in you and they lust for you. And they feel you are somebody to fornicate with. And that is the garment that is on you. When I came to this country, God said to me that when you reach the border between Rwanda and Uganda, kneel down in the, new, in the no man's land, in the neutral zone, and pray and I will tell you what will happen. Are you hearing me? When we arrived at the border at Kajitumba, it was my first time to enter Rwanda coming to this country. It was in 1995 on the first of October. When I arrived at Kajitumba, I saw many people 
In the bus, in the car, most of the passengers who came with me, we were just crossing the border. We were crossing the border together. And I just felt that everybody was looking at me. Many of them were looking at me. I, that's what I felt. And I said, If I kneel down, they will think I'm a mad person. Satan is terrible. A voice said to me, this is the place, kneel down and pray. Whenever I try to kneel down, I would feel like everybody is looking at me. I didn't understand that phenomenon. But possibly all other people were busy on their own things, but Satan deceived me that everyone was looking at me. And I felt bad about it. And I remained behind a little bit. Alone for all the people to move on. And I felt like they were all standing waiting. And I said, God, I cannot deal that, kneel down. I feel ashamed. I feel shy to do this. From today, that day I went through I had from that day I received a garment of a bad reputation so that everybody who had my name Jitkwaza, they have three things about me they would think Jitkwaza is a crook who robbed people that garment I realized this later many years later because that's what God was protecting me from when he told I me to do that. but I didn't understand it I felt shy and I just entered the bus without praying but I felt bad on the inside I felt like telling the driver to stop for me to go back and pray it was too late when I came to the country I took 40 days of fasting and praying I prayed on the last day God spoke to me but he despised me God said to me if you had obeyed that day on the border at the border you would have done better. And he said, but you're going to fight many things for a long time. And I didn't understand what God meant then. And God didn't give me details. But I felt something wrong happened that day. But I felt something wrong later I said I will take 40 days another 40 days without eating or drinking for God to give me a second chance on the 14th day I felt very weak and I became hungry I, could not, I was not drinking anything I was not eating anything I was not eating anything Okay. Then I had a vision without delay. That's when I had a window, a small window. Open. And God told me some things about the window. But because I was too weak, somebody woke me up and said, Open the door. This, is, this was not in a dream, it was not in a vision. And he said, You find something at the door, take it and drink. When I opened the door, I found milk in the box. Packed milk, I took it and I drank the milk. I felt refreshed. But, brethren, 
Tugitangire When we had started the ministry, Satan yanya bitsu mwambaro. Kondi ndaya nsamba nana bagore bose. Satan clothed me with the negative reputation that I am an adulterous man that has slept with all women. The, the fake news was that every woman slept with me. People thought that I slept with all women. That was the negative reputation of the government. Another government was that I was a crook, I robbed all people. The third government, these three governments worked so hard against me in the, in the time. When they got, when they faded out, a third government came that I have made a covenant with Satan that I go to hell that I live in a coffin and that I have two people in me that and people listen to it people claimed I'm a member of the Illuminati club and when you look at the person who gives you such information they have no idea about what the Illuminati is others claim that I'm a Freemason but when you ask about what Freemasonry is they have no idea. but that's what we hear about now those garments came on me because there was a new garment that I was supposed to put on at the border which was supposed to protect me but I did not obey I was shy and I'm still struggling with what I did not do because of what I did not do are you hearing me? You all come here by lack of alternatives, but many people talk you out of this church. Whoever, the one I did not sleep with, I robbed them. The one I did not rob, I bewitched them. That's the news outside. If so, that is what is written against but we know where it comes from. We know that comes from hell. But it is sent by witches. And then that rumor captures hearts of people who are not deep in Christ, whose hearts are very shallow in Jesus. Are you hearing me? There's someone called me on the radio or from a newspaper, I don't remember, and asked me, are you a member of Illuminati? When I open up the radio for people to call, I said, no, I'm not. But why is it rumored about that against you? I said, of course, those are rumors. That's what people say. I cannot waste time on the rumors. I am the first person after the genocide here who told you what Freemasonry was who told you what was Christians are who told you how we should destroy we should Satan. Satan. I destroy the works of Satan every day but people still believe that I serve him now you wonder am I the problem or the person is the problem when Satan covers you with the garment people take liberty to interpret whatever they want people know that I have a mansion in the US that's what most now, of you believe some people don't believe it I wish, I wish I would get I could get that mansion I don't have it but I wish I could get it can you hear me 
those are the beliefs people have it is because of the garment of a crook that the devil put on me people claim I take money here to go and buy mansions abroad now if I share my story remember what's going on in your tonight you and I must come to the end of those garments of bad reputation. That negative reputation the devil has clothed us with. Tonight, we must take it away. So that everyone who sees you, imagine everyone who used to see you, they had negative thoughts about you. Let me show you how the spirits of witches work. Even those who draw from the first heaven, the spirit will come like a vapor. The spirit will come and blow on people and then they dream that Charles is a witch when he has clothed you with that robe he will raise reporters who will spread the rumors they will say I had a dream I had a dream in which I was fighting with Charles and another says really you had the same dream say yes then instantly, a third person will come and share about their dream that they had against the same person and then you all draw a conclusion that Charles is the witch. brethren Satan, if you learn how Satan works, we have countless people that we have wounded thinking that it is true, yet it is what, what we dreamt is true about them. Yet they are victims of Satan's schemes. That is caused by Satan himself who knows who they are for me if Satan came in the flesh I cannot fear him because I know Jesus and his power when you know Jesus and his power you cannot fear anything else in this world when Satan knows that you are like that he will throw mud on you and give you a garment for you to be discouraged do not be discouraged because of rumors oh yeah no be discouraged when they say what you have done truly but even that you should not spend your time with them. do not sleep in the mud of Jesus and spend the day in the mud of, of the devil there are witches who bewitched because they made covenants with Satan there are witches who are used by others who use their bodies somebody who can use another person's body to be witch they are at an advanced level in witchcraft so that Satan grants them immunity protection and will tell them you when you go to bewitch people they will not see you even those who pray and do not have authentic vision they will not discover you however we will give you someone whom they call a scapegoat 
abantu bakoraga ibyabarangiza bakabishira ku ihene ikagenda izerera ivuza induru and the old testament people to commit sin and then they would lay their sins on a goat and that goat would be called a scapegoat somebody would be beaten will be insulted will be hated yet they have not bewitched anyone I don't know if you hear me and that person becomes a victim innocent of what they don't know we have many of those today you will get out of that place there are others because of a negative tongue whatever they say happens that tongue can bewitch people yet the owner of such a tongue will not know that they have bewitched someone I said don't get that job and yes you lose the job and they say that person is a witch whatever they say it happens such a person has not made a direct covenant with Satan but Satan has borrowed one part of his life which is called the tongue and that person becomes a witch unknowingly tonight we are going to put away put off those garments people who have been insulted just like myself that we are witches we are going to pray I thank God for those who did that in hell she came to confess please do I know you no I don't know her take a microphone and tell them if I know you anywhere else I didn't know her before. I just saw her last week. Did I know you, lady? No. Has anyone bribed you to come and say? Has anyone bribed you? It's God. Who asked you to share? there are many of you here who are victims of such rumors I want us to join together and pray everyone who has been insulted in that way please come forward come forward please come Okay. Now it's many of you stay where you are. Listen. Please stay where you're standing. Please it is unfortunate how Satan has defiled us. Can you imagine someone claiming that you were a witch when you don't even know how to slaughter a chicken like a witch in your family? And yet the person who is lying against you, their mother Papa is still a witch. 
Their fathers is still the witch. You have never done it in your family. But someone whose family still consults witches deceives people that you are a witch. Come, come, come. Yes. Jesus, have mercy on us. Recently, someone came and told me, I want you to listen to me. Hold on for a moment. This filth garment will go off tonight. Pastor Kibinda nabwo yaje harano yagiye unfortunately the pastor Kibinda is not here umuntu yaraje arambira ngo ngo mukorana numuruzi ngo kibinda numuruzi someone came and said you work with the witch pastor Kibinda is a witch barabivuga it is known all over kibinda baramubeshye yesu umuruzi they have lied against him is not a witch ndagira ngo imbere ya makamera nitorero I want to take off that garment before you, the church, and on the camera. And whoever will say it again, it will come on you and your children. Stop insulting me and the man of God. I know him. I know him. I cannot work There was another witch sitting there. He had come as a backup for the young lady who got saved yesterday. He is the one who was keeping her here crying. He was sitting somewhere there, but he fled. And he is a member of this church. The a member of this church. That's not a problem until that person gets saved. He will stay with them here. But I will look for that person. Because I will ask that person to come and repent. That person was holding that the young lady here when she was struggling to get delivered. What that person had done, that witch, drove, drove a car recently, aimlessly, thinking they would kill people here at church. And, and the car crashed into the Sunday school door. I know that person. But I was waiting for this moment. I will call that person. I cannot work with the sorcerer. I want you to hear this carefully. Azaf, hear this. Intercessors hear this. Church hear this. Kivinda Sumurozi. Pastor Kivinda is not a witch. He's a man of God. Those who claim, who spread the rumors, who claim to be prophets, they drew that information from the first heaven. And others who dreamt. That's what I told you. That's how Satan works. He suffers the same way you all have suffered because of the insult. But it's more painful for those of us who stand before people. When you start to pray for people, other people begin to rebuke you and to cast out. It's very painful. People of God, let us not beat people with the same road that was 
used to beat us. Umuntu nakubwira ngo uriya ni umurozi uzamuhunga umubwira atoke bira mu ngiyewe ni imana yanje. If someone tells you uza, uza huvuye nawe. If someone tells you so and so is a witch or a sorcerer tell them that's up to you that's your business mind your own business Mona nyumva are you hearing me Tugiye kwiyambura uyu mwambaro we are going to take off that garment Satan yatwambitse which Satan has covered us with Kandi murava ha mwaboho and you leave this place delivered Jesus Let us pray. Yes. Lord Jesus. Take off this garment, Lord. The garment which Satan put us on. This garment which Satan put on us. We destroy it. In the name of Jesus. We take it out. From our life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You spirit. Of witchcraft. You spirit. Who disgraces us. We take off you. That spirit of which we we take it off in the name of Jesus. 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 Man, and become an abomination of God. Cover your children with the garment of righteousness. A garment of a good reputation. From today, those who dream, those who be weak, those who are weak, let them never see again them in their dreams. I cross every dream. Every dream. Zirota. That brings dreams about this children, this daughter, this sons, that they are with We silence those dreams. We silence that prophecy. In the name of Jesus. Repeat and say, Lord Jesus, thank you. For giving me a new name. You have made me whole again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you. Go back to your seats. Jesus. God bless you. Jesus. Undi muka satani yate ya wanu nubu sambanyi. Umunu ya kubona ka kubonuru uwele ya kusambanyi. Another spirit that Satan has clothed with the people to defile their reputation is a spirit of fornication. So that anyone who sees you, they think you deserve to fornicate with. Kini reputasyo yu ujur. Another thing is the reputation of a crook. Umunu ya kubona ka wana turumute tsi umut kuzamamu. That somebody, whoever sees you, they think you are a crook, you want to rob them. We are going to destroy it right now. Let us destroy that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, we destroy the power of Satan. Of fornication. That comment of fornication. That comment of fornication. That comment of fornication. We destroy. We destroy. We stop it. We stop it. We break We break We break we take off all those garments. You will somebody. The garment of fornication. We take off the garment. You will shura. Of robbery. We take off the garment. You will kenny. Of poverty. We take off the garment. You will tindi. Of 
destruction. We destroy them. We take them away. In the name of Jesus. 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 Reputation be. Oh, negative reputation. Is in a bad name. Kumuryango wawi. On your family. Kubana wawi. On your children. Kumugaba wawi. On your husband. Kumugore wawi. On your wife. Kuriwe ne wanyu. On your relatives. Ijozi na ribi tuliwa kuyeho. We take off that negative reputation. Ijozi na ribi tuliwa kuyeho. We take away that negative reputation from death in the name of Jesus. Ijozi na tuli kuyeho ribi. We take away the negative reputation. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Take your Bibles for a moment. In the book of Nahum. God is going to deal with your enemies. God is going to God is going to deal with the witches who gossip against you. He's going to strike the spirit that uses them for them to come back and know the Lord. Nahum chapter 3. Verse 3. Oh. Verse 3. To verse 5. Umurwa uvu shamara suzabu nishano. Uzuemo ibinyoma. Nubga ambuzi. Tabu kwa basiba kunyaga. Soma. Na huu mibiche mitatu. Na huu chapter 3. Umurongo wa mbele. From verse 1. War to the whole to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. Urusaku rwi kiboko urusaku rwa guhinda kwinzika imirindi ya mafarashi agenda acha isibo ikiricha magari cy'intambara asimbuka the noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots ugendera kwifarashi akisuka mu rugamba ninkotira bya indimi nicumurira bagirana Nabishkwe ishanor yose, indumbi nyishi zigere keranye, nabafu yindi wabarika, barasita raku indumbi zaavo. The horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear, and there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses, and there is none end of the corpses, they stumble upon their corpses. Uvangubgire. Listen to me. Tokirikuri mirongo yombi. While we are on these two verses, three verses, the Bible says about the city of Nineveh things that will happen on the Ninevites blood lies robbery carcasses of many slain and corpses that are piled up Multitudes of corpses. These are things Satan has stolen from you. This is your life that Satan has robbed of you. Things which God has predestined for you from your birth to this day. Today they are like piles of corpses. Your dead blessings. The future that was destroyed. The Bible talks of them as piles of corpses. Because somebody did it. Who did that? Who caused that? Kumurongo Wakane. Verse 4. Listen to this. Zate Umurozi kazi umuhanga ugura amoko ubusamba nyibwe akagurisha n'imiryango uburozi bwe because of the multitude of the wardrobes of the well favored harlot the mistress of witchcrafts that selleth nations through her wardrobes 
and families through her witchcrafts. Remember, I told you yesterday that one of the doors into witchcraft is the door of fornication. You could find yourself as a victim of witchcraft. Or you dream flying. You dream eating. You dream fighting mice. Because mice is the spirit of witchcraft. All insects that live in houses, like cockroaches, mice, spiders. These are the agents that which is sent to your house. You could be in a house and you see cockroaches rising in your house. Those cockroaches are taking information from your house. They are feeling you. The mice, all of them, all of them, all those insects they are used by witches look at how look at what witches can do they can cause bloodshed in a nation a city full of bloodshed they can cause lies to fill a nation. They can cause robbery to fill the nation. The spirit of prayhood coming in a nation. Carcasses, corpses of people. All that was caused because of the matches of the whole drums of the well-favored harlot. The well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts, who sells nation through her fornication or and nation and families through her witchcraft. Families become poor because of witchcraft. A nation perishes because of witchcraft. In this moment, this is what God is telling us. Verse 5. Behold, I am against thee. The Lord is going to be against you. Whatever has been against your life for a long time. Whatever is against your children. Whatever is against your family. Whatever is against your relatives. Tonight. Behold, I'm against thee. He has come to be against thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes. Are you hearing what God is about to do for you? He's going to be against what has been against you. Whatever has been is crushing you. God is going to be against them. Whatever made you a dog and you were a man. God is going to be against them. Whatever made you poor, what you're supposed to be with, God is going to be against them. Whatever destroyed your health, what you're supposed to be double, the Lord is going to be against them. This is the night of the vengeance of the Lord. This is the night. Of the vengeance of the Lord. It is a night of the vengeance of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is a night of the vengeance of the Lord. And those who are following on This is a night of the vengeance of the Lord. God is going to revenge. He's going to revenge against the enemy. Hallelujah! 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 We take our hold in Zigo. The Lord is going to revenge. Hey! Yes! Uva, we don't end up with a sin. We take a new one. Be 
Behold, I'm against thee, saith the Lord of hosts. And I will discover thy scars upon thy face. And I'll show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. God is going to shame those who shamed you. God is going to shame whatever troubled you. Tonight, God is not going to your enemy. God, God is against what was against your children and against your house. The Lord is against what has been against your economy. Hey, hallelujah! 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 hallelujah. This is the night of the vengeance of the Lord. This is the night of vengeance on your enemies. This is not a game. This is not a game. It's a night of vengeance. It's a night of vengeance. You witch cry. Where is your power? You sorcerer, where is your power? You evil person, where is your power? Hey! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory! Hallelujah! Glory! The Lord God is going to undress those who made you naked. Young lady, Guma, Guma, stay here. Sit there. Sit there. Just stay there, daughter. Sit there. Akira. Come. Uyumukobga. This lady, there is an old woman sitting in her. When she came here, I saw an old woman sitting in her. Jesus. God is going to revenge tonight. The Lord is going to revenge tonight. Ah, hallelujah. hallelujah! 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 God is going to avenge her. Umukechu, an old woman. Yaram Chayemo was sitting in her has burdened her for a long time Mavuta. we are going to call for revenge now tonight all of you have been carrying old women and old men on your backs, on your shoulders. God is going to deliver you tonight. Ma terebo kose mereda. Rabababarama kose teye shedele. Oh! Hori nzigo yesu. Avenge Jesus. Hold in Zigo. Avenge us, Lord. Hold in Zigo. Avenge me, Lord. Hold in Zigo. Avenge me, Lord. Hold in Zigo. Avenge me, Lord. Matter 
What is he going? What is he going? Avenge Jesus. What is he going? Avenge Jesus. What is he going? Avenge Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. We take an ahore avanziva. Let the Lord avenge on your enemies. We take an avasogote. Let the Lord. Igo te we take an ivamerere navi. Let the Lord pierce them. We take a. May the Lord. This is the night of the vengeance of the Lord. This is the year of the vengeance of the Lord. This is the year of vengeance. The Lord is avenging. The Lord avenges. Your cruelest enemy is under revenge. Your cruelest enemy. The Lord has defeated 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 the Lord has conquered them. Oh, yes. The year of vengeance. The year of vengeance. The night of vengeance. The night of destroying. Destroyer has been destroyed. Over. Listen. Tamara so Satan has gone to come on the ground. Satan will never drink any more blood from your family. In your family, Ukiriho. as long as you are, Ukiriho. as long as you Tamara live, Sazongera Kunyovga. Satan will never drink any more blood. Over. Listen. Tamaraso. No blood. Satani. That Satan. Sazongera Kunwe. Yumuryango wa. Will ever drink. From your family. Iman Kanya now is said that Namuri Mugaro. God has made a covenant with you tonight. Matogo Boseke Teyekela. Sita Babala. Uva, listen. Uva, listen. Uyinu Mugaro Guhora Kima. This is a night. Of the vengeance of the Lord, Amarira Yahweh, your tears, Yakasekun Teveima, has reached your tears, have reached the throne of God, Amarira Yahweh, your tears, Amarira Yahweh, your tears, Yakasekun Teveima, have reached the throne of God, Ria Baba, Matola Bessi, Gikondriaba, Makete Bessere. Amarira yao. Your tears. Yagazakun have reached the throne of God. Uyunu Mugarova. This is a night. Imani Giakuya Subiri Shumambi. Well, God is going to answer your tears by an arrow. Umambi. An arrow. Ugiagu Sakura. He's going to strike. Umazi wa ukame. Yakura Sianame. Umazi wiva siye uzima brahma. Yanama get us your life. Umwanzi wiba siya abana bawo. Yana megera cyo cyutwe. Umwanzi wiba siye urugo rwawo. Yana megera cyo house. Umwanzi wiba si ubwoko bwawe. Yana megera cyo people. Umwanzi wiba si shanga ryawe. Yana megera cyo nation. Uyu mugaroba. Tonight. Hari umwambi uwiteka. There is an arrow of the Lord. Hari umwambi uwiteka. There is an arrow of the Lord. Hari umwambi uwiteka. There is an arrow of the Lord. Hallelujah. Rico yaba ba 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 ba
Your promises that had become dead are resurrected. 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 Your promises are resurrected. They are resurrected. What was a corpse? What was dead? God has breathed you a prophetic voice. Has said all that was dead resurrect. A prophetic voice has said all that was dead let them be resurrected let them be resurrected the spirit of death and widowhood is stopped in the name of Jesus Becoming a widow and a widower is stopped in the name of Jesus. This is a night we're not be with the hour of the world. And he wants to bless that person. But they are wondering, is this really true? He is struggling with this thought in their mind. They have a scar in their shoulder. In the God wants to bless that person. Come out if you are the person. Jesus. Do you have a scar in your shoulder? Yeah, go. God. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 What is happening is true. What was the problem, lady? Tell us briefly. What's your name? My name is Goretti. My name is Goret. In 2010, what were you thinking about? I was saying, for eight years, I've been hearing the same story of God blessing me, but how can I believe today is true? What is your church? I'm a member of this church. Eight years. But she was wondering that how can I believe what is happening now is it true? She has a scar in the back. People of God, God is going to bless you, lady. God is going to bless you. God is going to bless you. God is going to bless you. Are there others who are like her who have doubts? You are desperate and hopeless in your hearts. Listen, let me tell you. Tonight is the night of the anger of the Lord. Listen, mothers who are here. Fathers who are here. Let me tell you.
power from you. All the wrong garments they put on you. Today, you have a better garment. The Father has come. Father is restored. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Yes. Ma. We we ni vite. Gore. Zana ngusige utuvuta wigendere. Uremeye? Do you believe now? Reka tukuvye gore ti urasetse gore we ndoka guseka rya. Eh? When was the last time you laughed? Nairo kaga guseka muri 2010. In 2010. The last time I laughed. Do you feel happy now, Correct? I feel so happy. Is hope back? Yes, my hope is back. God knows you, Correct? Even knows what you have in your family. Oh, hallelujah! 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 They can go see Gamavuta Correct. Give me your hands. What I have done to her is happening to you. I ask angels to walk around and touch you. May angels touch your hands. Be touched by angels. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I came for the same prayer like her. Let us pray for her because she's here already, but the rest stay there. Brethren, if you could see the corpses in hell now. I have had problems for many years and I tried to get someone to pray for me but I had no one. And then I had a vision of you praying for me, uh -huh. laying your hands on me, uh -huh. and you delivered me. So I became calm. I never went anywhere else for help. Now no, no, I have no, no. come. <laughs> What's your name? Specios. Lift up your hands. Let us, Let us all proclaim blessings. We declare blessings upon us. Who are special to us? We pray for your blessing. Deliverance. Deliverance. It's happening on her life. On her life. Everywhere. Her hands. Her hands. God bless you. Amen. 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 Walk in the blessings of God. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Yes. Eh? Urashakiki. Abana, kupa sengira. Eh? Eh. Yes, Praise God. Last night I had a dream. Mm -hmm. I saw you calling me here. Bring all your children up here. What's your name? Yes, Ashim. Praise God. Tonight, Jesus, he is, 
Dealing with your enemies. Let me tell you. The Bible says I'm against thee. Have you ever heard God getting against somebody? He's against your greatest enemy tonight. What's your name? Janet is my name. These are my children. So in a dream you calling me here with my children. I saw you in a dream calling me here with my children. And then you told me. Go and your children you are delivered. Amen. Amen. I spent here all day today. I'm an intercessor. We went back home. When I went back home, the Spirit said to me, Take your children to church. I brought them. I just brought them here. So when I heard what was happening, the reason why I say this this lady who sits here I fight so many battles in my life I fight many things I never fear anything when this young lady shared her story I was here facing a battle and this young lady every demon that attacked me I would burn it I would see the sun that every demon is burnt this young girl she would help me mm -hmm. she attacked me dressed with some things around her waist because demons knew I banned them for her she came with her back on me and I banned and I banned her and I banned her when she was sharing her testimony but I recognized her when she shared her story she came she came in, in consecutive nights I burned the first attack it was around 2.47am after burning her when she got burned she sent a message on WhatsApp in a, in, a, in a message of someone I know and said, how are you? And the spirit said to me, every demon fears the name of Jesus and said, praise Jesus, and he never answered back. When they refused answering back, and I asked, what has happened to you? They didn't answer me again. He answered me. Then at midday, the following day, they answered me. And said, I wondered why you wrote to me at 2.47 a.m. And I said, me writing to you on WhatsApp? I said to her, it not, could be not you. It's still there on my phone. God has delivered you. All your attacks are over. And you fought. The reason why I brought my children my son he woke up last the other day with piercings on his umbilical cord area someone called me wake up and fight attached the young one at 3 a.m his leg was almost pala so I want you to pray for my children let me tell you no more blood shed in your family on your children
Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Let's clap our hands to Jesus. This is what you need to know. Tonight, God is against your enemies. The shame you have been carrying, the disgrace, the robe of rumors and bad reputation. Now there are piles of filthy garments, we are going to burn them. Lord Jesus, we burn all those garments of this grace Satan put on us in the name of Jesus. We burn them. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mukoga. You are now young. In number, he made it. What was the term of the mention? Greg is Jesus. Name I am Ya pita kiasi How do you feel, lady? Yes, Tell us she... briefly. I came very sick. Come back the same way. But yesterday I had a dream. Yesterday I had a dream. I saw people giving seed here, sowing a seed. And a post was praying for them. When I came to him, he hit and he taught me many things that I cannot tell you. And he said, Jesus has had you, you will never suffer anymore. And then when I woke up, God said, Take a fast because I'm going to solve all your problems. I thank God now. I've gone through great terrible things. I have been seeing the old woman, he said, and should give me the wrong age. And God told me he would restore my beauty that people would wonder who I am. It is wonderful to cling unto the Lord. And that happened 
happen for me to see God doing things. Because I clung to, pe- to God and moved away from people. God has done all this so that if you don't believe, you believe God and cling to God. There's nothing better than loving God. When you love God, He will love you and He will do much things for you. Those who, the lady whom I live with calls me the Sherry of Jesus. How do you feel now? I feel so well. I came with pain in my stomach. And I said, whether it rains or not, I'll come. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah. Mm. I've been feeling someone sitting in me. She would even rob me. An old woman was sitting in her. But the old woman is gone. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! God bless you, lady. Just give me one minute. Just one minute. Those who are following us live, receive your miracles. Papa, bangu soma gato ya mubye iwachu. Mubye iwachu ndara mukije. Iyi message ndara imboni. This is a message I received last night. Ndara mukije mizi ndara Yesu. Nanje nanje nda shimima na umunsi wibi tangaza. Nanje mana yanyi juje umugongo. Nari mazi mnyaka mnyeshu mkongo umere enabi Muru, Muri huwa muse, muna, numuru hundi, muri kwa muna senga Nje nafuka mnyembele ya ordinateri Numvu muriro, mumugongo Ubgonyene numvichi nuchimvu yeko Chari chime zenkichi wuyi Ndashimi mana idu suviza uvuzima Kandi mana iguhe kuramba Kubgumu jeni wa kristu Turabakunda, turabasengeri Yes, ashimwe cha Praise God Nabari mwa kulikirari ya benshi Habana abacho we kukuku She's one of the few, this is one of the few people who wrote to us because of the Ali, miracle who are following live online. Miracles are coming to them where they are. This is another one. Nanjye ndashima imana kubitangaza by'Imana ejo narimwe ndakurikira ubutumwa kuri internet igihe wavuze ngo abantu baceceke urasenga narapfukamye uri gusenga imbaraga z'Imana ziranza ko numva umuyaga mwinshi uransunika kure ndagwa maze nkoma induru nyinshi umfashe umfashe gushima imana ku deliverance yangiriye imana ikomeze ibakoreshe mu mbaraga zayo nyinshi haleluya haleluya imana yakirimira kora nabatwumva kuri radio umwanya no kuri televiziyo ibitangaza birimo birakorwa God is touching many people including those who are listening on the radio on tv or online do not hide your testimony when God touches you. I want to thank you tonight. Thank you for your patience. We will continue tomorrow in the miracles of God. You wanted the anointing, I will anoint you. <laughs> she stayed here when everybody else left. Let's stand up and give thanks to God. Nema ya mungu ya pita kiasi. Nema ya mungu ya pita kiasi. Nema ya mungu ya pita. Mungu ya pita kiasi 
Mana turagushima kugira neza. Lord we thank you for you are good. Turagushima kudahinduka. We thank you for you never change. Uyu mugoro banu wawe. This is your night. Umugoro wa vengeance yawe. Your night of your vengeance. We was here abanzi bacu. But you are dealing with our enemies. We was here but demon bari baraduhagurukije. You are against demons that rose against us. Turabigushimiye. We thank you. Kuduhaye ubutware. For giving us the courage. Utubohoye. You have delivered us. Kandi tugiriye neza. And have blessed us. Mwizi na rya Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mutahana ndu mwami Yesu. Go home with the Lord. Ejo tuzakomeza. We will continue tomorrow. Nema ya Mungu yapitakia